going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another vlog and today we are back at the San Diego Zoo. Uh, I know the last time I was here I only showed you guys a little bit because I didn't have very much time. Today we are here early enough in the morning uh, with some of our friends right there. So we have time to go and do the whole zoo so I'm going to show you guys the whole entire zoo. Hopefully. That's my goal is to walk around everything, show you all the different animals. Some of it might be a repeat, but most of it shouldn't be. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we got all the baboons over here. They're all kind of cuddled up, picking bugs off of each other. Their enclosure is huge, by the way. Like we walked around the whole entire thing and we couldn't find them at all. And that's because they were all like huddled up in that one little area. But their enclosure is giant. Like. It probably took us 15 minutes just to walk around the enclosure, so they have tons of room. Hey, Sammy. The females. What noise did you say baboons made? <laughs> what was it? I, Baboon mating call. What is it? What was it? <laughs> 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 that means party bees are baboons. There you go, spoken by a true baboon expert. Their call is <laughs> Alright, so now we are in a giant bird cage that is like this whole entire area is all birds. Um, but what are the ones that we see everywhere? Those little green ones. Lovebirds are pretty popular. Oh. Lovebirds? Is that what that well, is? People keep them no, as pets. No, no, that's no. Not... we're trying to figure out that one. Uh oh. Um, Cause it's green and it's, I'll show you guys what it is. Those ones seem to be everywhere, but like I don't see them on this. Did we not figure out what bird yeah, it was? Yeah, it's a bee eater. Where's that? That's why there's bees. It's a bee eater. It's a bee eater. Oh, it's a bee eater. And that's why they got the bees. So that's the one that I just showed you guys. And we were wondering, they have beehives right there, and I was like, why would they do that? But evidently it's for the bee eater birds. Terrifying. These love birds are like squaring up right now. One of them just suplexed the other one out of the hole. I'm trying to see if they're gonna do it again. Oh, he's going in. Oh no. And that is how baby birds are made. This is pretty cool. I didn't even know they had this here. I don't think I've ever seen it. But it's a black leopard. So reptile world it would be called melanistic. I don't know if it's considered melanistic for the leopard as well, but really pretty. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. That is so amazing. So I was right, I verified with the zookeeper guy, it is still considered melanistic, so it's just a melanistic um, leopard. Very cool. Little vervet monkeys. These are kind of like the squirrel monkeys that you guys have seen me play with in past videos, but a little bit bigger, and I think they're kind of, not more mean, but more kind of crazy. Super cute, cleaning each other. Looking for snacks. Oh, the lemurs are all like fighting right now. There's like one different species fighting all the ringtails. Really funny. I think they're fighting for the king. Look at that tail. Look at that, we're just sitting. Oh, I did that big tail. Oh! Oh! Get him! Look at his little face! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That dude totally just jacked their cave and made them all go sit in a different place. That's pretty messed up. As if I wasn't cold enough already, we're just gonna casually walk through a waterfall. No one's gonna say that it's cold. Uh, your boy is freezing, and I have to pee so bad. Before I pee my pants, I guess we're gonna stop and check out some little penguins. These guys are cool. There's also a native little stork hanging out. Yeah, a whole bunch of little penguins. One guy swimming right there. Couple right there. Leopard shark. That's cool. I see a tuna! I see a tuna! I see a tuna! And a wagon! And a wagon! And a wagon! It's a baby f***ing wheel, man! That's a tuna, bro! Jay, that's a tuna or something. Jay, look at it. Come on. So, pretty cool. They have their names actually, like, on their little arm tags. I don't know what that one's name is. But that one's name is Gail. 
see it on the little tag. That might be Very cool. cool. All right, guys, got the baby out. Uh, she was not, she was not having it. She was not a happy baby. So now she's out. I got her. She can actually like walk around and enjoy, even though obviously she doesn't know what anything. Margaritas. All right, we're refilling on the margaritas. Let's do it. All right. Well, we were gonna show you guys the pandas, but the line to get into the pandas is insanely big. So we are gonna check out the snow leopards instead. Still got her, and I got my margarita. Well, I didn't get a margarita. I got a mango rum thing. Um, but yeah, snow leopards. Let's check them out. Here we go. So she just said there's only 80 to 90 of these guys. So there's one right there. Kind of see him. And then there's two of them hanging out right there. So only 80 to 90 of these guys left in the wild. And then there was another one somewhere up there. I don't know where that one went, though but beautiful animals. Gave up the baby. She was getting heavy and I only had her for like two minutes, so that sucks. Um, but yeah, Sammy, who is Kelsey's friend, has her now. Uh, we are done in the leopard area. Tour guide, what are we going to see next? All right, so you got some options. Do you want to see polar bears? Do you want to see the tigers? What do you want? Kelsey, what do you want? Turn into babysitter. Polar bears, so we're gonna go up. So it's gonna be a walk up the hill. <laughs> All right, walk up the hill, we're gonna go see polar bears. All right, now, after a long walk up a very big hill, we are in the polar bear cave. Let's see if we can find them. A lot of people in here. big animal. He's huge. Looks like he's just kind of playing at the moment. Definitely a big, huge bear. Hope you guys like that polar bear having the time of his life. He definitely seemed like he was having a blast. Uh, now we are going into the Arctic aviary, aviera, something like that. So something to do with birds. They don't like the camera. Camera shy. Hey, listen. Stop it. No. Did you like just find him? Just or? found, well he, um, his mom and his six siblings are around here somewhere. He just got separated Hi. and people have been trying to catch him. Oh no. Oh, no. You know, cause he's Cause cute he's and they, they're concerned and I I'm concerned totally too. I would totally try to catch the baby duck. I know, who doesn't want to hold a baby duck? Right? <laughs> However. All right, so we're gonna let this little duck go and see if it's gonna find its mom. You can hear him cheeping already. Oh. Okay, well that was cool. Paid $100 to get into the zoo to watch a mallard. Uh, no, I don't know if he found his mom. He might have. No, he's chirping. I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll be good. No, I'm sure he found his mom. It's fine. The like zookeeper lady was keeping an eye on him. Um, I don't know where we're off to next. I think we're gonna be going to Africa or maybe we'll take the Sky Fari back to the beginning. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I guess we decided we're going to do the Sky Fari. Uh, you guys saw this kind of in the last video, but there was no audio for it because I forgot to turn on my microphone, but it's on this time, I think. Has it been? Yeah, we're good. It's been on this whole time. But yeah, this is the, uh, this is the Sky Fari. Brings you over the whole park, all kinds of different exhibits. That's Balboa Park right over there. San Diego downtown over there. Got some little walk thing.
And just like that, Skyfari is pretty much over. Uh, I think we're about to go get some food right now, and then we're actually going to take the Skyfari back to where we were, just to kind of um, start where we left off. But once we get done eating and whatnot, I will bring you guys back to finish the rest of the zoo tour. I believe we still have a lot left. Back from lunch, now we are in Africa, uh, where I brought you guys through the last time I was here. So I'll just touch on a couple things for the people that didn't see the last video. But right over my shoulder, right there, there's two big lions kind of cuddling with each other. I don't think these guys were out the last time I was here. So pretty cool to see them right in front of everyone. When you see an opportunity for a thumbnail like that, I mean, you really can't pass it up, can you? You can kind of see the elephant a little bit. Elephant butt. There you go. A little closer view. Not sure what he's doing. A little skin. He's real, I promise. He's just not moving. You want some tequila, homie? He's not down. Those guys were adorable. Meerkats are always super cute. Uh, we got a few things left to do. There's this big, huge bird cage thing. Um, these guys, what are they? Oh, dwarf mongoose. I don't know if you guys can see him. It's very small. Right over there. Very cute, but yeah, a few more stops left. I will bring you guys along as we go. All right, so we made it to Kelsey's favorite area at the zoo. This is the orangutans, or orangutan, I guess, if you want to be specific. And uh, turn you around so you guys can see them. Definitely adorable. The baby ones are so cute. Uh, I think we have hippos left, tigers. What else do we have left? And the reptiles? Gorillas. Gorillas. That's it. So, few minutes left. I feel like we probably walked like five miles so far. Three? No way. We've totally walked more. Let's see. Mine says uh, 5.88 miles. Yep, 5.88 miles. 12,000 steps, your boy's getting tired. All right, so evidently we had already walked by the tigers and the hippos and we would have had to walk back down a giant ass hill to get there. So no tigers and hippos on this visit. Sorry guys, I've already walked a lot. I don't wanna walk all the way back down the hill just to walk back up the hill. But we are gonna hit the reptile room before we head home. Okay, so now after the walk around, I'm just gonna give you guys a few little shots of some of my favorite reptiles here. If you guys wanna see all of the reptiles here and see an in-depth video, go look at my other zoo tour video. I'll throw the link down in the description. Obviously the Bolin's one of the most beautiful animals here. I uh, can't really get the best view of him, but absolutely gorgeous. It's a side-striped palm pit viper. You guys can kind of see him pretty good. Looks awesome. The Mang Mountain Viper you guys just saw, really, really cool, super, super rare in the wild. And uh, the zoo here, the reptile area at the zoo, actually just had a whole entire clutch of babies um, hatch. So super cool, they're very endangered, and the zoo is doing a lot to actually, I don't think they're gonna try to reintroduce them back into the wild, but at least keep them in ca captivity. Uh, no 
reptile video would be complete without showing you guys that guy. Obviously a king cobra, one of the most badass reptiles there are. So similar to the king cobra, that was a monocle cobra. Again, some of my favorite animals. They're beautiful, they're crazy smart. Um, yeah, just absolutely beautiful and awesome animals. Uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Like I said, I already showed almost all of these reptiles in the last video from the zoo. So, let's see, we'll show one more. We'll do this guy, the Northwest Neotropical Rattlesnake. Really pretty. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for me here at the San Diego Zoo. I hope you liked the more in-depth tour. I'm sure, well, I know, actually, that we missed, I'm sure, still a bunch of animals. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sure I'll be coming back here before I transfer. More on that, too. I'm going to make a quick video kind of explaining all my travel coming up within the next six-ish months. Uh, going to be a lot. Going to be a huge change of pace. But I don't 100% know all of the details yet, so I won't share it yet. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, drop me a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new here and turn the post notification bell on so you get notified every time I upload a video. I appreciate you guys. Peace.